Acute myeloid leukemia is one of the commonest blood cancers. And it uh, occurs uh, because of um, uh, acquired abnormality in the bone marrow. The blood stem cells, which are normally responsible for producing our normal white cells that fight against infection, red cells that carry the oxygen and keep us full of energy, and platelets that stop us bleeding and bruising, the, the normal stem cells acquire an abnormality for reasons that we often don't understand and this blocks their ability to differentiate into normal uh, red cells, white cells and platelets. And as a result, the bone marrow becomes full of uh, very abnormal cells, cancerous cells, uh, and patients uh, suffer from the consequences of a shortage of red cells, white cells and platelets. So typically with acute myeloid leukemia, patient will present either with fatigue or shortness of breath consequent upon becoming anemic or they may find they get repeated infections because their white cell count is low or they may find that they bruise or typically bleed perhaps after brushing your teeth. And so those are the presentations of um, uh, what we call bone marrow failure where the bone marrow fails to do its normal job. So it's important when first diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia to understand that those are the common symptoms and that there is a potentially reversible cause. Uh, and the way that we go about putting patients back to full health is to work to eradicate with chemotherapy or transplant those abnormal leukemic cells. Treatments are advancing rapidly and there's a, a real chance, although this is a very serious, potentially life-threatening disease, of achieving a cure. Exactly what form of treatment is required will be discussed between patients and their doctors and will uh, depend upon the patient's initial response to treatment uh, as well as a, a number of critical factors about the leukemia itself, which we can understand from uh, analyzing it in the lab, and also some very important patient-related factors, largely related to patient fitness.